Half websites you should know, part 201. Did you know if you go to this website and pick any of these restaurants, I'm gonna go with Chipotle. It'll give you a list of secret menu items they don't want you to know about, and when you click on one, it'll tell you what's in it and how to get it. That one looks pretty good too. Half of websites you should know, part 202. Did you know if you go to this website, you'll be on a website that looks like Gmail, but it's actually a Reddit skin, and the emails that are in your inbox are actually posts from different subreddits. And you can search any other subreddits by clicking these labels, or if you hit compose, you can type in a subreddit name you want. I'm gonna go with Maymays. And now I can view all of that subreddit. So true. Half of websites you should know, part 203. Did you know if you go to this website, you can upload a picture of a room or any part of your house. I'm gonna go with this boring backyard. And then you can ask the AI to make any of these changes to your picture. Let's add a resort style pool and we'll make it have black tile. And it'll generate new ideas for your room based on your prompts. Look at that. Powerful websites you should know, part 204. Did you know if you go to this website, You'll find a search engine similar to Google, but when you search for something, I'm gonna do a lasagna recipe for five people. It will give you the same links that you would normally see on Google, but on the right-hand side, it'll also give you the chat GPT result. Easy. Half of websites you should know, part 205. Do you wanna seem like you're busy on your next Zoom meeting? Just go to this website. You can then click on these app icons to send sound notifications to make it seem like people need you. And you can even use a slider to make it go faster. Powerful websites you should know, part 206. Did you know if you go to this website? You can upload a PDF that you have. I'm gonna do this Tesla impact report. And you'll be able to ask the AI any question you have about the PDF. I'm gonna ask it to give me a summary first. And there we go. And you can even highlight data inside the PDF and ask it questions about that specific data. Let's give me a conclusion about it. Half of websites you should know, part 207. Did you know if you go to this website? You can type in an Excel formula you need help creating. I wanna remove all the letters from a string of characters and I need it for Google Sheets and hit generate. And the AI will create a formula that you can use. All you need to do is copy it and paste it in your sheet and it looks like it worked. Easy. Half of websites you should know, part 207. Did you know if you go to this website? and upload a picture of someone's face. I'm gonna do this one of me with a wig on. And it will search all of social media and find other pictures and videos of you. It's me. Path of websites you should know, part 208. Did you know if you search for this on Google and click on the first link? You can get an NVIDIA app that always forces your eyes to look at the camera while using your webcam. So for instance, at the bottom, you can see my eyes are focused off camera reading my script. But at the top, my eyes never break from camera and constantly stare into your soul. Perfect for Zoom meetings. Powerful websites you should know, part 210. Did you know if you go to this website and upload a video that you have? I'm gonna do this one. You'll get access to tons of free video editing tools directly in your browser, just watch. You can add some text and keyframe animations, filters, masks, and even transitions. Easy. Powerful websites you should know, part 211. Did you know if you go to this website? You can find an app that'll allow you to play thousands of Flash games that were forgotten when Flash ended. Ooh. Let's go, Mariah. Oops. Uh, what's your favorite Flash game? Powerful websites you should know, part 212. Did you know if you go to this website? and choose what you want to create. I want to go with a presentation and then type in what you want it to be about. I'm going to do mine on the history of Rome, Italy. It will give you an outline that you can edit and then when you hit continue, you can pick a design you want and the AI will live generate a presentation for you that you can use. Easy. Apple websites, you should know part 213. So there's some new AI tools out there that are absolutely going to change the way videos are made in the future and here's how. All you have to do is go to this website. Then you have a bunch of AI tools that you can use like this Gen 2 tool, which we'll talk about in a second. But if you click on the Gen 1 tool, then you can upload a short clip that you have. I'm gonna do this one of me hitting the dab because I'm hip. Then from here, you can give your video style by choosing any of these presets or type in your own style prompt. But I'm gonna go with a base image that I uploaded, this Johnny Bravo one. And when I hit generate, 
and the AI will take your original video and apply the style that you gave it to create a new video, dab. But wait, there's more. You can also use their Gen 2 text to video tool and then you can type in a prompt that you want. I'm gonna do an aerial drone shot of a volcano and when I hit generate, and the AI will create a short clip based on your text prompt. It's actually not too bad. Powerful websites, you should know, part 214. Did you know if you go to this website and type in a prompt for a world that you wanna create, I want an underwater city, and then pick a style, it will generate you a 3D render of the world that you described. You can even play as this little guy and run around in the world that you created. Let's see if I can get on the shark. Nope. Powerful websites, you should know, part 215. Did you know if you go to this website, you can choose from any of these styles and then type in what you want to see and it'll generate you different examples based on your input. So here are some icons I made, but I can also take a picture from my computer. I'm going to use this picture of Mariah and drag it on. And I can say I want to modify the current image, change the palette to this color, and we want to make him a dog baseball player now. And there we go. Not too bad. Powerful websites, you should know, part 216. Did you know if you go to this website? You can find tons of different ambient soundtracks for writing in D&D, but you can also click on the sound pad up top and click on a setting that you're in. Let's go with the tavern. And it'll give you different sound effects that you can play for your campaign. Powerful websites, you should know, part 217. Did you know if you go to this website? You can start creating your own world by typing in a prompt and drawing. So let me start with mine. All right, now that I'm done with the sketch of the world that I want, all I have to do is type in the prompt now. I want an alien planet with mushroom trees and a city in the distance. And I can also select which type of style I want it in. Let's just go with realistic for now. You know, use your prompt and sketch to create your 3D world. You can see it uses the green sketches to generate it. But another cool thing is if I click on the remix button, I can also change the style to something else. Let's go with the Naimi. You know, use the world you previously created, but change up the styles. And one last cool thing you can do with it is you can draw a room in your house, then describe it. I'm gonna do a podcast studio and then click on the interior view style. And it will allow you to design different rooms in your house. Is that my setup? Powerful websites, you should know, part 218. Did you know if you go to this website? You'll be able to create videos just using text. Watch this. All you have to do is join their Discord server and you'll be able to see tons of videos that other users created like this one. But if you go down to the bottom, you can use the create command and then type in a prompt that you wanna see. I wanna do an astronaut floating through dark space with stars. And it'll create a three second clip based on your prompt, but there's one more cool thing you can do, just look. You can go to any AI art generating website. I'm gonna use this one right here. And then if you have it generate a picture for you, I want an Anime character sitting in a thunderstorm. I can then save any of these pictures. I'm just gonna go with this one right here. I can then go back to the Discord server and use the create command again and describe the picture I just saved, an Anime character sitting in a thunderstorm with lightning. But then if I hit tab, I can actually drop my picture I just saved into here, and then when I hit enter, it will give an animation to the picture you just uploaded. Sick. Powerful websites, you should know, part 219. Did you know if you go to this website? And click on this to upload an image. I'm just gonna do this one of me doing a T-pose. It will create a 3D model based on your 2D picture, but there's also some other cool things you can do, just look. If you use an AI art generator, I'm gonna use my Mid Journey account and ask it to create a character for you. I'm gonna do Mario as a real human during the Renaissance era. You can then save any of the pictures it generates for you. I think I'm gonna use this one right here. It looks pretty good. You can then go back to the 3D website, and upload the picture you just downloaded. And then when it's done creating your 3D mesh, just go to the top right and hit download mesh. And then you wanna to go to this website. You can pause here if you need to. And you wanna drag your mesh you just downloaded onto this and then select this right here and hit convert. And then download. You can then go to this website. And if you hit upload character, you can drag the file you just downloaded onto here. You can then rig up your character and pick from hundreds of animations that you can give it. Let's try this one. Hey, he's kinda of clean with it. Go Mario. Powerful websites, you should know, part 220. Did you know if you search for this on Google and click on the first link, 
You can generate realistic songs just using text. All you have to do is join their Discord, and then I can use the chirp command in one of their channels, and then I can either type in my own lyrics or have ChatGPT make some for me. I'm gonna make some about why I'm the best tech content creator. And when it's done, it'll generate you two different versions of the song. Here they are. Tech content creator, now you make tech. Always has got checks within his wish. With winning humor, he'll make you smile. Watching this video is a surely worthwhile. And here's when I created with my own lyrics. I just wanna tell you how I'm feeling. Gotta make you understand. Powerful websites, you should know, part 221. Did you know if you go to this website and search for a board game, I'm gonna do Monopoly. And it'll give you a curated playlist of tons of songs for that board game. Powerful websites, you should know, part 222. Did you know if you go to this website and type in the type of vehicle that you have? You can find every single part for your car much cheaper than you'd find anywhere else. So for instance, here's a fuel injector for my truck for only $21.79. If I compare that to O'Reilly's, it's almost double the price. So think about that next time your mechanic charges you way too much for parts. And now I gotta go find that blinker fluid. Powerful websites, you should know, part 223. Did you know if you go to this website? and search for a type of movie or TV show you want to watch. I want to find a crime based on a true story made after 2000 and a score over seven and a half. It will give you tons of suggestions matching your criteria. And if you click on one, ooh, I love Matt Damon. It'll show you all the places you can watch it in your country. Powerful websites, you should know, part 224. Did you know if you go to this website? You'll get access to a free art generator that does one thing better than any other art generator that you can find online. So as with most, I can ask it to create anything I want. I want dragons playing a board game called Dungeons and Humans. Then I can pick from any of these styles. Let's go with a 3D render and a Nime. And you can see it creates some pretty good looking renders, but there's also one other thing you can do with it. So you can see with other art generators like Mid Journey, if I ask it to create art with any kind of text in it, it usually just spits out some gibberish. But you can see in these community posts on Ideogram, if you ask it to use text in your art, it actually does a really incredible job of spelling out the right words. For instance, this guy wanted the word beers shaped as beer glasses. So this time I want a sticker of a nerd wearing a bandana and glasses, but I want text below it to say Maddie McTech. So you can see sometimes it does mess it up, but most of the time you'll at least get one that produces the right text. And here's a new comic book cover I just created using it. Half of websites, you should know, part 225. If you ever have a bunch of things you need to do but you're not sure where to start, all you have to do is go to this website. You can type in a task you need help breaking down. So I wanna plan a pool party for my 21st birthday. And then you can tell how much you wanna break this task down by. I only need a little bit of help and I'm gonna add it. And now I have my task added, but if I hit this magic pen right here, it'll create a list of subtasks that'll help you finish your goal. From here, you can check them off. You can even move them around. And you can also edit a task or get an estimate. So it looks like it's gonna take two hours, but I can also hit this magic pen next to the subtask. And it'll even break that subtask down into multiple steps that you can do. It also has these other cool tools up top, like this formalizer, where I can type in some text and then I can pick a tone that I want. So let's make this more professional. And it'll generate me a new paragraph that I can send. And they also have this chef tool where I can enter in ingredients that I have, equipment that I have, and any dietary restrictions. And it'll give me a recipe for a meal that I can create. So who wants an invite to my 21st birthday?